Hey guys, my name's Sam and welcome to PrepMedic. This week's video, we are doing a full review and walkthrough of the Generation 2 Pelvic Binder by Crow Medical. In cases of massive trauma, you can get what's called an open book pelvic fracture. This is when your pelvis splits and it allows for a lot of internal blood loss. So in 2017, the Committee for Tactical Combat Casualty Care recommended placing a pelvic binder in the circulation portion of March. They found that almost 26% of soldiers that died overseas did so with pelvic injuries. So I've been carrying a pelvic binder in my kits for quite some time. It's something we have on all the ambulances. It's something we have on our helicopter. It really is a must have in major trauma. Now, up until recently, I have been using the SAM pelvic sling in most of my personal kits. This is a good viable device. However, I've opted to switch over to the Crow for a couple reasons. So first and foremost, I like the form factor of the Crow medical kit a lot better just because it's thinner it's not quite as wide. I'd say it's about three fourths the size of that. That might not seem like a huge deal, but when you have uh, everything that you're carrying with you in a backpack, that little bit of space saving makes a huge difference. Now, the use of this is really simple. And somebody that's for somebody that's not really familiar with pelvic binding, the way this is used is if you have somebody with a significant mechanism of injury, you take this, you jimmy it up their legs, you put it over their greater trochanter, you tighten it down as much as you can with this band here. So this comes over, comes uh, out really easily. You tighten that down as much as you can, and then you just tighten with the boa band. Now, this brings me to kind of the technology of this and one of the other reasons I like this over the SAM pelvic sling. So this BOA binding here can tighten up to 80 pounds of force. We know that to successfully reduce a pelvic binder, you need to have at least 33 pounds of force. However, there's been no max limit to that. There's nothing that shows any harm if you tighten above that 33 pounds. The SAM pelvic binder is meant to click into place when you hit the minimum, 33 pounds, which is great most of the time and it's gonna work for a lot of your patients. However, there are situations where you might not get this tightened all the way, or you might catch something and it deploys before you actually get to that force. And there's really no way of knowing or troubleshooting that. So because there's no maximum, this boa band is meant to be able to tighten beyond that. They've found through research that the average human hand can tighten this for about 40 to 50 pounds of force, but this can only be tightened to a maximum of 80 pounds of force. So instead of waiting for a click, it kind of avoids some of those human errors. And all you do is once this is in place, you tighten it until you physically can't tighten it anymore. It's really, really easy for low light application. If you need to reset it, it's super simple. You just pull this out and you extend it again. And that's kind of what makes this special. This pelvic binder specifically will fit 95% of the population. So it is something where you can really size it up or down depending on what you need. You get it as tight as you can, and then you just keep on tightening it. You're gonna see that the boa band actually brings down the size of it, and you can actually have a lot of take up before you're not able to turn it anymore. Now this right here isn't gonna cause any issues for your patient. Um, the Gen 1 had some issues with pinching, but that's kind of been resolved with this new elastic fabric they have on it. And just like that, we can re-expand it. The rest of the materials on here are super robust. This is a metal clip. And like I said, I like it because it gets rid of a lot of the human errors. It folds super, super flat. Um, and works really well on the majority of patients. If you're looking at picking one of these guys up, you can buy them through North American Rescue or Crow Medical. I'll leave both links down below for your perusal. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I will see you next week.